you are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome to Rom Wills About That Business, riding out recessions. Now, with this, uh, this thing with uh, coronavirus... I mean, the health part and dealing with that, you know, check out my, um, check out my Deep Thought channel. But with them canceling, like, you getting, like, all these, like, leagues canceling uh, this uh, season or at least postponing something. Like, right as of the, as of this recording, you know, Major League Baseball is going to open up uh, two weeks uh, later than usual. Right, but the NBA season uh, canceled or at least postponed. I gotta see what that is exactly. I've, I see canceled. I see postponed, suspended. You know, I'm like, hmm, what's up with that? Right, and um, NHL, like some other leagues, uh, March Madness. I'm like, well, March Madness not quite. Uh, they're just going to be playing in empty stadiums, at least as of the recording of this uh, thing. You know, the actual day this comes out, it might be something different, whatever the case. But all of this, and there's a lot of things, a lot of people ain't going out or going to events, events being canceled. Um, if we weren't officially in a recession, that stuff's triggering a recession, right? So that's that's the talk. A lot of times people ain't even looking at the medical stuff, but they looking at the business thing. And recessions are normal, though. Recessions is always going to happen. You're always going to have periods of, uh, like, no growth, negative growth. And you know what? That's that's going to happen. That, that's going to happen normally. That's The cycles are normal. It's just a question on how severe it's going to be. But whatever the case, we're going to have to ride. You got to ride it out. You got to ride it out. Now, as a business person, you know, one of the things, and I've talked about this before, the emergency fund. That's the first thing. And, like, when you get that extra money, don't go, don't roll out, don't go out and get that, like, Mercedes or buy some expensive trinkets or whatever you're going to do. Make sure you have that fund. Just in general, because even, even during a good financial period, you know, the possibility exists for things that can be out of your control that your business takes a hit, depending on what business you're on, you know, depending on the situation, all right? So, you know, the first thing, have that fun. Two, always have a plan to how you still going to get your products out or get your services out. Like, you really want to, you really want to pay attention to your customer base, and the economics of your customer base. Is your customer base mostly like uh, uh, affluent people? You know, people who make as a whole over six figures? Well, you could probably ride it out easily. You could still get your business depending on what it is, right? But are you in an area where the people, it's tight? It might be a poor area. Like you got a lot of people, you got a lot of businesses in those poor areas. You got a lot of businesses or quote unquote poor. I say, how poor can it be if there's a business there and they making money? But it, it could be whatever and you might be out. So, you know, first thing you want to you do want to just in general anyway, just pay attention to your customer base and then have a contingency plan if there's some type of dip in your business. Like you might have to say, okay, well, I can bring this up or I can bring this product up or, you know, I can cut back on some services here. Like uh, one thing, a lot of businesses, if they get some, have some issues, they do layoffs and everything. And unfortunately, you might have to think about that too. Look at all of that. Like, and usually with layoffs, you're not firing a person. You just can't pay them for that period or figure out something. You know, have, um, have a plan, especially if you have a uh, multi – you know, you have multiple employees, like make sure some employees or really all of them, but a good number of employees can do multiple jobs easily. They can switch up easily. Like in retail, like if there's like a slowdown at some retail establishment, usually everyone can work on a register or 
you know, put out stuff, whatever. He'd be able to do everything. And just have just have a plan when you see it. And just in order to even ride it out, pay attention to the overall economic situation. Even if you're making money hand over fist, pay attention to the overall economic thing and pay attention to anything that can even come close to affecting your business. Like you could have, like say there's a definite recession in a particular industry, right? Pay attention to how that's affecting yours. Like I'll give you an example, the trucking industry, the trucking industry, they profoundly affected by the retail industry going down. Like there hasn't been a lot of talk about the retail apocalypse that's been out of the news. But, you know, if if the stores are closing, that means trucks aren't needed to deliver stuff to those stores. So that affects the trucking industry. So whatever industry, whatever business you in, okay, figure out all the secondary industries that affect you. You know? And it could be, like I say, it could be something totally different. Like you could be, okay, like you could have a business supplying restaurant products or something. And, of course, there's plenty of restaurants, but, you know, it could, I don't know. It could be something um, like some restaurants close or something. That could affect you. That could affect you. That could cut into your money because, you know, you might not have, you know, you'll probably have a, like still get some money. But you might not. It might not be a thing of. Uh, um, well, it could just be a thing where it's just uh, a slowdown because the businesses went out. Or even a better example, um, like when I first started this channel, I used T-shirts a lot. Now, say you have a kiosk in a mall that uh, sells just T-shirts. You know, fancy T-shirts, whatever, homemade T-shirts, and you're doing pretty good. But then the mall starts going down. Several stores close. The traffic is goes down. All of a sudden, you're still affected by that. So always pay attention to everything. And like I say, just have that plan to ride out the recession. Have a plan. Always have a plan in place. Like it's like snap. Like everything, like with my businesses and everything, you know, I'm primarily online. I'm a publisher. My first thought when I started seeing all this was like, okay, what's my customer base? Because I keep an I keep an eye on that. Uh, what am I selling? Keep an eye on that, you know. And one thing, I'm 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 in a good position because my um my customer base is global. So for me to be serious, and plus I'm talking about relationships primarily. I sell other books, but the relationship is primarily, and you know, people are always going to want to have sex. So I'm, I'm all right there, you know. But even with that, I'm still paying attention to the different industries, and it's like, okay, yeah, they might want to have sex and want to have instruction on it, but if they don't have money, they might not buy my product. So I'm still paying attention anyway. So, yeah, but whatever the case, have a plan to ride out that recession. And recession or not, Let's go make that money.